Golf 300, good morning. Another 12 hour shift. Amblin. They're picking up the victims of the virus and the victims of lockdown. Shirley had COVID in January. Now her daughter has had to call for help again. Uh, she's got pains in her chest. Um, but we'll see what we'll see what they say. Hopefully she'll be all right. And it's, uh, COVID's still with us, isn't it? It's oh, kind of... yeah. It wants to do one now. <laughs> it does. It's doing me headed. And to know that you can't go anywhere, it's just, you know, and you're just there on your own. And it's, you can see why people do go, you know, go off the red because it's just, there's nothing you can do. It's, you can't go nowhere. You can't, you can't do anything. My name's Kira McLellan. I'm a paramedic in Wrexham Ambulance Station. I'm Vicky Moran. I'm an emergency medical technician for um, Welsh Ambulance Service and I'm based in Wrexham Station. I've not really known much difference. I'm only 18 months into the role and there's colleagues of 30 odd years who are saying it's the most challenging time they've ever seen and they're struggling and questioning their question their roles. Uh, I've never seen so many poorly patients in a small amount of time. I think that's not take its toll on anybody, never mind paramedic. It's harder for family because family um, will be about me. They will be about me more than I will be about myself. Um, so I think that's what you find hard is, you know, they'll ask, you know, have you had COVID jobs today? Well, yeah, we get COVID jobs nearly every day. Um, so, yeah, they, they do worry. Family do worry. The house is currently declared as a red zone due to COVID. Okay. Red level PPE it is. I'll have to go in the back and get away. Even though the patient they're seeing has previously tested negative for COVID-19, there are other residents here who are positive, and so everything moves up a level. These COVID jobs are thankfully slowing down, but this isn't. Well, the has been found collapsed in the street. She is possibly an overdose. Uh, really sadly, it sounds like she's lost her dad to COVID quite recently, which is probably uh, really brought her to this state that she's in now. When we get to the Myla Hospital in Wrexham, the patient refuses to go in. There's now something of a gentle standoff between the security at the hospital here and the paramedics and the patient who just doesn't want to go inside. It's a difficult, delicate job that they have. After almost an hour, she's guided in for specialist care. Uh, her, her family member had passed away last night with COVID and just unable to cope with the situation at the moment, really. And it's on every shift, sometimes for the full 12 hours. Some shifts we, we can see um, every patient will have some element of mental health, whether that was the primary reason for the call or not. Um, that makes it really challenging for us because we have limited ways of dealing with these things other than A&E. They're equally limited. They see medical patients on top of those mental health patients, so they have to weigh up the priority if there's no main medical concern. Yeah. It's purely a wait for the mental health teams here and there's not enough staff, unfortunately. In the queue at the Myla Hospital are soldiers helping out on ambulances. They've been on deployment since Christmas. We're not heroes or nothing like that, we're just here to help, that's it. I was opened my eyes quite a lot, because obviously you didn't think it was as bad as it was, but when, you, when you're on there and your ambulances going to these houses, seeing the people, seeing what it's done to them, you think, yeah, that's quite bad. Um, if you yeah, notice that you're coughing, you're coming, you're coming, you're coming, you're coming you're really, really, really short of breath. breath. Yeah. And this is where the vast majority of people find help with the 111 call team. Our straightforward symptoms, or what we perceived as straightforward calls to us previously, like your sore throats, even those type of calls now are coming in with some level of mental health issues. You know, patients are really anxious, um, really scared. So again, this is the, the benefit of this service, is that we can actually help and advise those patients. He did state that he's normally fit and well. Okay. He's just concerned about COVID. So there is an impact on the nation there with the mental health and everything's going on and, you know, services have adapted out there. But I think one of the biggest challenges is basically looking after the staff as well as doing everything else, making sure that the staff are OK. The next job is Claire, who's collapsed at home with very low blood pressure. It's linked to a pre-existing condition. 
year, a very stressful year to be honest. Yeah. Um, I work in the wedding industry yeah. um, okay. and we've had such a tough year and um, the, the stress that we've all been under with transferring thousands of weddings <laughs> yeah. but obviously there's a roadmap out of it now so hopefully the stress is going to go away. <laughs> Claire is still coping, but many more people of all ages are not. And so this service needs to adapt. We're certainly looking uh, to uh, enhance what we can do here in Wales, certainly in the ambulance service, to support mental health patients. And I expect to see uh, uh, more specialist mental health services within the ambulance service in the next 12 months. Yeah, Roger, thanks. Um, we'll make our way back to base. Thank you. When Kieran and Vicky finish, Mal and Andy are in full flow. Every single item on board is cleaned after a COVID patient. We don't get to know what equipment has been used on the vehicle or what medication's been used. So for all I know that it may have been opened and, and something may have been taken out of this box during the treatment, but I'm not aware of that. So better safe than sorry, you cleaned everything. If it's on this kit, you can wipe coronavirus away. But its side effects run deep and need just as much care. Tom Parmenter, Sky News, North Wales.